recording. And I am going to share my screen. Now I practice this and now I need to figure out because I need to share my screen with the notes. Hmm, here. Okay. And I'm gonna share my screen. Can share the time. Okay, wait, hold on. If I put that there, can you see my presenter notes on the screen? No? Yes. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Freezer, for holding down the fort with the um, but you guys can see the hidden gems of the essential oil world, right? Slide. Awesome. All right, everybody. Hello, welcome. Happy Sunday. This is our last class in our eight week ongoing product education series. This is actually our second, third series, but our second series of topics. Um, and we're super excited to wrap it up with hidden gems of the essential oil world. Um, today, we're going to kind of dive in and talk about some of our more uncommonly used essential oils that maybe we might own and have, but aren't really maximizing. So um, if you don't know who I am, I am Eliza Yoshida, and I am one of the leaders of the Central Island Living Team. So welcome. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. So when it comes to our essential oils, we all have our favorites, right? And if you have used them for a while, or if you're just getting started, you will develop habits with certain oils. And there's a chance that you will probably gravitate to your top four or five oils. So everybody who knows me knows that peppermint is one of my absolute favorite oils that I use multiple times throughout the day. Um, and in the world of essential oils, you're going to often hear about our top 10 oils, oils like lemon, lavender, pe peppermint, frankincense, and more. But while those essential oils are extremely useful, and I really do think very versatile as well, uh, today we really want to dig a little deeper and talk to you about some of the lesser known essential oils. Um, and let's see, and you definitely want to maybe consider adding these oils to your collection or you have them already and you're, you're underutilizing them. Although these might not be used as frequently as the popular ones, they're very valuable and hold unique benefits for us as users. So if you learn about these lesser known oils and try them for yourself, they might just start to make their way into your list of favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive right in. Um, please, at the end of every slide, please feel free to share whether in the chat and or um, I'm going to help. I'm going to have Kanan. Oh, never mind. For some reason, I can't. OK, how um, Fraser, I know, can monitor the chat for me or feel free to unmute yourself and share if that's an oil that you love. All right. Ooh. Teacher mistake. All right, so here it is, arbovitae. So arbovitae is an essential oil that has significant purifying properties and has a really warm, earthy aroma. It's a natural wood preservative and insect repellent. It really holds powerful cleansing and purifying properties. It can help protect against seasonal and environmental threats and really helps to promote calm and peaceful feelings. So this is a surprisingly versatile oil and it's cleansing and purifying find properties, make it useful for protecting the body against environmental and seasonal threats. While it's warm, woody aroma makes it really useful for meditation and promoting a peaceful environment. So in addition to thwarting environmental or seasonal threats, um, our arbovitae can be used for really preserving and polishing wood furniture or acting as a finish and is really a great insect repellent as well. So, you know, um, again, those are some of the uses for it. Uh, to really reap the benefits of Arbovitae, you can add a few drops to a spray bottle with water and spray on surfaces around the home. And Arbovitae is actually found in both our uh, Forgive blend, one of our emotional supporting blends, and Terra Shield, um, which is um, our repellent blend, uh, primarily used to help 
ward off uh, insects and unwanted critters. Most people don't utilize it. Uh, unwanted and um, uh, <laughs> oh, I lost my train of thought. Unwanted critters and <laughs> and so forth, but also um, can act as a repellent for negative energy as well. Okay. All right. Does anybody want to share? Anybody um, use arbovitae or? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So for immune support rollers, if you like to make your kids, like you like to make your own rollers, which I love to do, um, instead of adding oregano to my immune support rollers, because to me, if I apply oregano to me or the boys and then we go out, um, oregano yeah. tends to smell like huh? to me, and I'd rather not be walking around smelling like weed. So that's just what it smells like to me. So instead of using oregano in my rollers to like apply to my kids topically before they go to school, I use Arborvitae instead. So I use that in all of their immune support rollers. That way they smell good and not like a little questionable. But yeah, that's how I like to use it. I love that. That's a great hack. This is, we just wrapped up Bogo Week. This was actually a Bogo a while ago, um, Arbovite was. And so I know that some people who have been with us for a while might have this in their collection and are just possibly underutilizing it. So I love that. It is a real powerful oil um, recommended for immune support. So thanks, Fraser. Anybody else want to share a little bit about Arbovite? It's definitely not one that I use often. I'm not even gonna lie. So it's always great to reconnect with some of these um, lesser used oils. All right, perfect. Let's keep on keeping on. Our next essential oil is a black pepper. So although this oil may seem a little off the beaten path, it's actually highly beneficial oil with many uses for the body, in the kitchen, and much more. One of the greatest advantages of black pepper oil is the internal benefit it holds for the body. Black pepper oil contains a high amount of chemical components that are known for their antioxidant activity, which make the oil useful for warding off environmental and seasonal threats. Black pepper can also help support healthy circulation and aid in digestion, which is why, um, oh, sorry, teacher mistake. Um, it can aid in digestion. And so to experience the internal benefits of black pepper, you can place one to two drops in a veggie capsule and swallow. And in addition to the significant benefits that black pepper ho uh, oil holds for the body, the scent can also help to soothe anxious feelings. When feelings of anxiousness arise, place a few drops of black pepper oil in your diffuser and allow the unique, sharp, spicy aroma to calm these unwanted or stressful feelings. And then of course, as you can imagine, black pepper oil is extremely useful in cooking. Um, when you want to utilize the spicy nature of black pepper for your food, consider adding it to your favorite entrees, meat dishes, soups, or salad concoctions. Black pepper oil, though, is really, really strong. It's very potent. So try dipping a toothpick into the black pepper essential oil bottle and then stirring the toothpick um, in with the other ingredients. Um, Using a full drop of black pepper could be overpowering. And this is kind of true for any of our other hot, spicy oils like oregano, thyme. You want to just be very careful when you're using them in your cooking. You wouldn't want to ruin a whole dish of something because you put one too many drops of an essential oil in there. Um, you can always add more oil, but you can't take it out once you've added it in. And black pepper, actually, when I look up uh, oils for addiction, black pepper is often one that is most commonly recommended uh, for nicotine addiction or really any type of addiction. And um, you can take it internally, you can use it uh, topically and aromatically. Now, again, very strong, right? Any way that you look at it. So you're going to just want to be really careful uh, with with the way that we use that. Uh, this is found in our Amavi. This, um, our Amavi is not a regular oil. It was a um, men's blend that was offered one Father's Day. I have to say though, 
I think the Mavi Father's Day kit is still available in the back office. I'm pretty sure you can still get your hands on the Mavi Father's Day kit. And um, it's also found in one of our yoga blends, the anchor blend. So again, when we're talking about, you know, calming anxious feelings or stressful feelings, I think that this is why it's also recommended um, when you are craving, right, those, those types of things um, like, like nicotine and so forth. Anybody want to tell us a little bit about um, black pepper and how they use it? Fraser, could you help me in the comments maybe? Oh, I thought I had a... Um, Janice said, I use black pepper in my adobo dishes since I don't like to accidentally bite into it in the pepper pods. Um, I said that I like to add black pepper to my homemade bone broth. And then Kanani said, I use black pepper with deep blue for my back labor. Oh, I wish I knew about that when I was in labor. That would have been a huge help. Um, and yeah, that's all that was said so far. And then Jai said, yes, a Mavi collection is still available. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Okay, I had to stop sharing my screen for a second. So hopefully we can get this. Hi, my Cody boy. Hi. Oh my goodness. You're going to distract Auntie Lies this whole call. Okay, let's see how this works. Um, all right, here we go. Sorry, guys. I'll get the hang of this, but I really am liking this. All right, Clary Sage is the next oil. So again, Clary Sage is really known for its calming properties. It's a really uh, critical oil to have in your arsenal. And I might have Fraser share a little bit about this um, if you haven't heard her story. When she enrolled, she enrolled with, I think at the time it was our Home Essentials kit. So similar to our Healthy Essentials. And she added Clary Sage onto her order. Um, um, because of its chemical makeup, Clary Sage is really one of the most soothing, most relaxing and balancing oils that doTERRA offers. Not only can it calm and soothe the skin, but it also promotes a calming environment that promotes restful sleep. In addition, Clary Sage oil can contribute to healthy looking hair when used as a regular part of your hair care routine. Uh, to use clary sage for skin, you want to combine a few drops with doTERRA fractionate coconut oil and apply to areas that need soothing. Uh, to experience the relaxing, calming benefits of clary sage, you can diffuse the oil in your bedroom or apply a drop or two to your pillow before going to sleep. So think of this as sort of an alternative for lavender or serenity as well. If you want to relax before bed, add a few drops of clary sage to a warm bath. This uh, oil really helps to promote a healthy head of hair or healthy scalp by adding a few drops to your shampoo or conditioner bottle. And the, the soothing properties of clary sage oil can also be made in a suitable oil for massages. Uh, combined with doTERRA fraction and coconut oil, for a relaxing massage at home. I'm actually really surprised that they didn't add this because I think one of the most powerful uses for clary sage is as a hormone balancing oil. Um, if you look up anything hormone related when it comes to women and whether, I mean, in uh, if you're trying to conceive, if you're trying to balance hormones, if you are experiencing anything that's hormone related, clary sage is going to be one of the first oils that pop up. It is found in our clary calm women's monthly blend roller, which um, many of team members say that is one of their number one blends that they use. And it's also in one of Kanani's favorite oils piece. So I'm going to go ahead and mute myself and I'm putting her on the spot. I apologize. But I want Fraser to share just a little bit about her journey with um, Clary Sage because it's really powerful. And I think important for us to all know the benefits regardless of if it's something that we need or perhaps something that we'll need to um, recommend to somebody in the future. Okay, so I'm not gonna go deep into my story because it can get long, but basically 
Um, I had a tumor on my ovary and that was causing extreme, extreme hormone imbalancing. It was causing like cystic acne on my face and my back and it was gross. Um, and I had like huge bloating, stabbing pains in my stomach. So I was looking up YouTube videos and this girl was like, oh yeah, I just rubbed clary sage on my stomach and it took my tumor away and my hormones are balanced. I was like, that sounds crazy, but I'm going to buy it. So I bought it. Um, like luckily Liza like found me on Instagram, like this little angel sent from like Instagram heaven. And she was like, what do you need help with? And I started like asking her questions about acne and, and then I know that I really needed clary sage because hormone balancing was my major issue. I needed to get my hormones under control. So I bought that with my kit and I started using clary sage. So I made a roller and in the beginning, I just had clary sage and frankincense, I think it was. Um, and I would just apply it right over my ovaries. And then I apply it like over here on my neck, like on my pulse points. And I would do that like three times a day, every day. And I started noticing that my acne was going away. I didn't have any cystic acne anymore. My scarring was going away. My bloating was going away. The stabbing pain went away. Um, then I went in for another ultrasound because I was going in for ultrasounds every two months to follow up. I went in for another ultrasound and then it showed that my tumor was gone. And the only thing that I changed was using clary sage and frankincense and essential oils. So I love clary sage. I go through clary sage all the time because I always, I still apply my hormone balancing roller every single day. So if I don't apply it, I notice that I kind of start breaking out. So I have to apply it every single day. So because I use it every day, I have to buy clary sage all the time, but I love buying it. So it is major when it comes to balancing your hormones. Oh, I love that story so much and I could never stop hearing it. So that's just such a great and powerful testimony um, for us to be able to share and pass on to others as well. So, um, all right, anybody else? Do we have any more comments about Clary Sage or anybody want to talk about Clary Sage or Clary Calm and their success with it? I know Tawny swears by Clary Calm and has all of her girlfriends like Clary Calm. Um, it's uh, our women's monthly blend can really help to reduce all of the symptoms of that lovely time of the month. We have anything in the comments, Fraser? No. Okay. All right. I'll keep on keeping on then. So here we go. Next oil is Cypress. Cypress is the oil of circulation, you guys. It has a really powerful, clean, refreshing scent. Not only does it have a strong and unique scent, but it use, uh, its uses are really vast and really practical. This is one of the oils I feel like you want to have because when you need it, you're going to need it. Um, this and helichrysum for sure too. Um, if you struggle with oily skin, the natural chemical components of cypress oil can really help the appearance of an oily complexion. You can simply add a drop or two of cypress to your skin toner to improve an oily complexion without drying your skin. In addition to its benefits for the skin, cypress has a very distinct aroma that promotes energy and vitality. For an energizing boost, place a few drops of cypress in your essential oil diffuser. It really powers well with refreshing essential oils um, some of our citruses specifically, like lemon, grapefruit, bergamot, uh, lime, and even um, lavender. You can take advantage of the invigorating and energizing benefits of Cyprus by applying it topically. You can apply Cyprus to the feet and legs for vitality before working out or to the chest to promote energy. When applying Cyprus, uh, you want to dilute the oil with fractionated coconut oil, or you could even combine it with like our unscented spa hand or body lotion or body butter. Um, not only will Cyprus oil invigorate the body when applied topically, but the senses would, when applied, I mean, would diffuse aromatically. But the chemical makeup makes it uh, grounding yet stimulating. Uh, this makes it a useful oil during times of transition or loss when you may be experiencing unsettled emotions. And to experiencing the grounding and stimulated benefits 
of Cypress oil, you can add a few drops to a bath with Epsom salts or simply rub a drop or two between the palms and inhale. Uh, keep in mind, because of its chemical makeup, Cypress oil should never be swallowed or used internally. And Cypress is actually found in our Aroma Touch massage blend. But again, let me talk a little bit else why I feel like these are very common, right? Diffuse it for emotional support. Cypress is the oil of circulation. If you are, if your body is struggling with any type of circulation, um, whether it's your blood needs help circulating. I know when Kanani was pregnant and she had, um, was it, was it varicose vein cysts? I know that Cypress was one of the oils that she used tremendously. Um, so it's just one of those oils that when something happens, like if people have lost feeling or sensation in any of their limbs, you're going to want to use Cypress. Um, I also know an auntie who... Um, pretty much healed a broken toe because, you know, when your bones break, like in your toe, either you have to cast your whole foot or you basically just need to let it heal. Right. And she applied, I believe she layered, it was cypress, helichrysum and frankincense, I believe, um, and just layered those uh, oils. And, and she said it, her foot feel healed so much well, really was her toe. Her toe healed so much faster than she ever um, experienced or anticipated. So I highly, and that's why it's found in our Aroma Touch Massage Blend, right? Because if you're getting a massage, you're really trying to get your, 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 your circulation, you know, um, stimulated. Um, so this is definitely one of those oils that if you don't have at some point, you're going to want to have in your collection. It won't be one that you necessarily use often, but when you'll need it, you will definitely, you will definitely need it. So anybody want to share with us um, anything about um, Cyprus? Nothing? All right. I Sorry, Liz, I oh. did want to say that you were right. It was uh, for my varicose veins during pregnancy. And then I did, I did vein surgery in August and um, I used a ton of Cypress to help with the healing. And then um, I'm still having some issues. So I have to go back and do another vein treatment, but I'm using a lot, a lot of Cypress. It's been helping. Thanks, sis. No, I appreciate that. I was hope I had it right. Go ahead. Marissa in the comments said major in my sister's swelling. So her sister had, I think like ACL, MCL, PCL, like all the CLs, like surgery on her knee. Um, so she went through a major surgery. And so Marissa was the one taking care of her. So she said that helped a lot with the sister's swelling. And she's been using this one on her a ton. And then she said the nurse and PT were shocked how fast swelling decreased or decreased, decreased. I can't even say the word. Yeah. Thank you so much, Marissa, for sharing that. And I hope that Mindy's feeling better. I think you're still actually caring for her. But yeah, I mean, if the, again, you guys, that's what I'm saying. This is not an oil that you're going to be like, busting out all the time. But when you're good, when you need it, it's that's, it's one of those ones where you're like, darn it, I don't have it. So Cypress, and I would say Helichrysum are two oils that um, I highly recommend everybody have in their toolkit, because you just never know when you're going to, when you're going to need those. All right, let's keep moving on. <laughs> fennel. So fennel is most associated with a very distinct aroma. Um, some people would describe it as sweet. I might not have the same description, uh, but it definitely licorice, that black licorice smell for sure. So it's, you know, it's quite unique. Um, it's very, very one of a kind aroma, I think. Um, I am not good when it comes to smelling oils and being able to know what's in a blend, but I could tell you without a doubt when I smell fennel. <laughs> Um, but it's very, very powerful for aiding in healthy digestion, which is why it's in our digest and digestive blend. Uh, when you want to promote healthy digestion, simply place one or two drops of fennel oil in a veggie capsule and swallow. In addition to the digestive benefits, 
fennel oil holds other benefits for the body when taken internally. So that includes healthy metabolism, healthy circulation, liver function, and a healthy respiratory system. Taking fennel on a veggie cap is also the easiest way to reap those benefits. Also, if you struggle with resisting sweets and processed sugar, maybe that's why I don't like fennel because my body's like, no, you'll be sugar deprived. No, I'm teasing. Not really. Um, can be helpful in really keeping those sweet tooth cravings at bay. You can add a drop of fennel to a plain glass of water or to your favorite tea to fend off sweet tooth cravings. And last but not least, fennel is a, another useful essential oil for cooking. The strong, potent flavor of fennel makes it useful for spicing up your favorite meals like sausage, salad, soups, party dip, and more. As with other essential oils, when cooking with fennel, be sure to use the toothpick method, adding the smallest amount possible to begin with. This will ensure that the oil doesn't overpower the other flavors of the dish. Now, another thing, it's funny because um, now that I'm doing this, I'm like, okay, I actually do know some stuff about these oils. Fennel for any nursing mamas or um, mamas that, you know, or if you know any nursing mamas, um, fennel is going to be the oil that really helps to support uh, breast milk production. So you can take that internally, you can apply it topically onto your breasts um, to, to really help stimulate breast milk production. Um, fennel is also found, I mentioned in our digestive, digest and digestive blend, but also in our clary calm. Although I really like the smell of clary calm, so it must be one of the, the lesser used essential oils um, in clary calm because I tend not to like those. Is it in slim and sassy? Now I'm wondering, is fennel in Slim and Sassy? It's not, is it? There's another oil in Slim and Sassy that makes it smell. Anybody want to share um, any testimonies or ways that they use fennel? Nothing? All right, we'll keep on keeping on then. Oh, there it is. Next up is Helichrysum. Okay, so serious, serious powerhouse. We just debuted this as a touch roller. Love the touch roller. I still think you want to invest in a bottle. This is a great oil to save up your points and use points for as well. It's taken from the golden flower, often referred to as the everlasting flower or the immortal flower, because it holds such powerful, rejuvenating and restorative, restorative health benefits for the skin. Because of this reputation, helichrysum is often used in anti-aging products with for its ability to promote a youthful complexion. So helichrysum is found in, hold on one second, one second. Um, helichrysum is often used in anti-aging products um, to promote youthful complexion. So one of the best essential oils for skin Again, one of the best essential oils for skin. So you're going to find it in a lot of our skincare products. Helichrysum is a wonderful addition to any skincare routine. Um, one of the easiest ways to use it is to help reduce the occasional blemish. So you would just, you know, tip the bottle over or maybe even do, do a finger uh, tip swipe and apply the um, helichrysum right to your blemish. You can apply it directly to your face. Just be sure to consider the condition of your skin before applying. If you have really sensitive skin, you might want to dilute it with coconut oil before applying. But that's why I kind of like the fingertip method. So you're not like getting a full drop of essential oil, but just kind of taking like the residue that's on the top of the oil. Um, along with removing blemishes, helichrysum is very powerful for anti-aging efforts. Um, it promotes that youthful glowing complexion. By rejuvenating the skin and reducing the appearance of wrinkles, helichrysum is a helpful natural way to keep your skin looking young. You can apply the oil again directly to your face, or you can add a drop or two to your daily facial lotion or cleanser to really reap the benefits of uh, the anti-aging benefits. Lastly, it provides the skin with soft, soothing sensation. So if you've had a long, stressful day, if you've maybe been out in the sun too long, you can apply it to the temples and back of your neck to skin, uh, to your skin to provide a soothing sensation. Um, with uh, that over um, sun exposure, if you've had excessive sun exposure, dilute it with the coconut oil and then apply it for soothing relief. Again, all of these oils that have 
Hold on one second. People playing video games, cooking, watching football. Jerry Milat's are right here. Okay. So um, you can apply all of these with um, fractionated coconut oil or also get our unscented body butter or our unscented hand and body lotion as well. This is found in our Deep Blue Soothing Blend, our Immortel Blend, and in Correct X as well. Um, and then helichrysum, again, it's not mentioned here, is considered liquid band-aid. So if you have an open cut or a scrape or something and you want to like, you know, close that bad boy up, helichrysum is going to really help to stop the bleeding um, and uh, lots of powerful testimonies about that. And it's funny because I always carry my little keychain and I keep telling myself I need to add helichrysum to it because I don't. And so I need to do that because again, helichrysum and cypress are those oils that you might not, and purify. I don't think we're talking about purify today. Oh, I just keep adding to the ones. I think everybody needs purify because purify helps to draw out toxins. So anyway, helichrysum, anybody want to share anything about helichrysum? Do we have anything in the comments? Yeah, I'll share the comments. Um, I said that this is my favorite for scarring. So um, I don't think Liza said this, but it also comes in roller touch form. Yeah, so instead of, so before I used to just use helichrysum and I'd like turn the bottle, not like that. I would turn the bottle over and then I would just put it directly onto the spots. But now that I have the roller, I'll just go in and touch up the spots that I need. Um, so I use the roller for that now. And then let me see. Jan said, I love, love Helichrysum. Kanani was talking about her vein for Michael and Cami. Um, Michael said, I use Helichrysum when I didn't have sunscreen for golf. And Jan said, it helped me relieve a huge bruise on my shin. I promise bruise disappeared in a week. Bruise was bigger than a half dollar. Rolled it twice a day. So my husband too, so we have wooden boxes for box jumping because we do like CrossFit style. So if you hit your shin, it hurts. So my husband like did the super high one, whacked his shin on it. And then at nighttime, it was a fat, fat lump. So I have pictures of the night of, and then I make a bruise roller and the bruise roller has helichrysum in it. So he applied that that night. The very next day, it was like down to that. So I need to post that picture because it works super good. Um, what else? I said that I added it to my boy's owie roller. And then Janice said I added Frank to and Rose. Well, that's a good blend for that. And then that's it for, for Hella Christian. Awesome. No, that was oh, no. sorry. Oh. And then and then Kanan said, yes, for Cody's nose, it was perfect. Oh, the touch. Yeah. So Cody fell, right? Come on, like right on his nose and he had a huge little. Yeah, my son fell off the golf cart. It wasn't moving. He was trying to do a handstand on the golf cart. I don't know why. Typical boy, I guess. And um, he fell and it was Veterans Day the 11th and he had picture taking. Um, so it was Wednesday. Picture taking was the following Wednesday and I needed that to go away like in seven days. So we went heavy and it was good. It worked really, really good. It was tiny by the time that he had picture taking. So it was perfect. I love that. Awesome. Oh, I just uh, noticed um, Mia, Maya, Mia, yeah. um, raised her hand. Oh, okay. Mia, you want to say something? Do I have to unmute her? I don't know. I've never like had to do that before. I don't okay. know. Can you unmute yourself? There you go. Huh? Hi. Oh, I didn't actually raise my hand. Eden did that. <laughs> Okay, I'll lower your hand then. Thanks, Mia. My pocket, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. Okay, let's move on. Thank you for all the shares on Helichrysum. 
Um, okay, the next juniper berry, the oil of night. This is another one of a kind of oil with a very distinct aroma, spicy, woody, clean, balsamic, all at the same time. So in addition to its unique scent, it has many exclusive benefits for the body. It can help to reduce blemishes because it acts as a natural toner for the skin. Um, you can simply apply one drop directly to the face to promote a healthy complexion or again, dilute with fractionated coconut oil and apply it directly to the problem area. It also holds many internal benefits for the body. So it can help support healthy kidney and urinary tract function. Um, juniper berry is extremely supportive for your urinary tract, okay? Um, so if you think about women with UTIs or anything like that, juniper berry is often going to be um, recommended. Oh, you guys, shucks. I'm jumping all over. Cypress is also an oil because it helps for its circulation, can be helpful for bedwetting. So if anybody has issues, older or younger, with wetting the bed and having needing a little bit more support and control with their bladder, cypress is a great oil for that. Okay, I forgot to mention that. I apologize. So to um, so let's back come back to juniper berry. So it supports healthy kidney and urinary tract function. Really acts as a natural detoxifier and cleanser. So if you want to take advantage of the cleansing benefits of it, just add a few drops to your water smoothie or citrus drinks as part of a natural cleansing regimen. So their unique aroma, again, can be useful for calming and grounding for emotions during times of stress. Placing a few drops of juniper berry in your diffuser will not only purify the air, but help promote calm, grounded feelings. Juniper berry really blends well with essential oils like sandalwood, lavender, melaleuca, or tea tree, and clary sage. You can place a drop of juniper berry in one hand, rub the palms together, and cup the hands over the nose to combat stressful feelings. So juniper berry is also found in our Forgive blend, as well as our Zendocrine detoxification complex, which makes sense, right? Because it's so powerful and acting as a natural detoxifier for the body, as well as supporting um, the urinary tract and kidneys. So when we think about cleansing, detoxifying, we really need to cleanse out our internal organs and support them because they have so much work to do. And so juniper berry is one of those oils that can be really um, supportive uh, in that sense. Anything in the comments? Um, Janice said juniper berry showed up on my Itovi one time and it was to help with frequent visits to the bathroom. It works. It lessened and literally stops the urgency to go. Okay. And then Michael said, Janice, I need that for days at school and we can't use the bathroom at all. Bladder <laughs> is a <the> steel. <laughs> so juniper berry and cypress combo maybe for that ladies. Let us know how that goes. All right, let's keep on keeping on then. Lemongrass. Oh, you guys, I love lemongrass so much. I think this is one of our least expensive. I think it's our least expensive essential oil at 10 bucks a pop. I love to diffuse lemongrass. So it's really an extremely diverse oil though. So the uses have huge range from massage to insect repellent to food flavoring. Lemongrass is actually one of those oils that can really, it's part of my um, pain bomb. So lemongrass, frankincense, copaiba, and marjoram are my go-tos in a, in a veggie cap as my like natural um, pain relief, like ibuprofen, I guess you will. So a huge variety of uses, massage, in insect repellent, food flavoring, um, you definitely want to add this one, and especially the price point is so nice. Um, one of the greatest benefits, though, is really helping to support healthy digestion and acts as an overall tonic for the body systems. When you need digestive support, simply place a drop or two of lemongrass in a veggie cap and swallow. Lemongrass is also commonly used in massage therapy because it has a soothing and refreshing effect on the body. So you want to consider using lemongrass for an at-home massage or diluting with fractionated coconut oil and applying to the body after a long run or a particularly 
hard workout. The potent aroma and flavor of lemongrass oil make it useful for cooking as well. Most commonly used in Asian cuisine, lemongrass uh, essential oil can add flavor to soups, teas, curries, meat dishes like beef, chicken, shrimp, fish, and more really powerful purifying properties though. It can be beneficial to the skin. So again, you can see that many of our essential oils are so versatile in use. Um, it's used as an ingredient in many skincare products because of the toning characteristics of lemongrass. You can again, simply dilute with fractured coconut oil and apply to the skin. Oopsie, teacher mistake, I went too far. Um, let's see. Um, um, let's see. Lastly, lemongrass oil can be useful for repelling insects as it acts as a natural insect repellent. To keep insects away, simply dilute lemongrass with a carrier oil and rubber spritz the combination on your skin before going outside. Um, lemongrass is found in our DDR Prime essential oil. Uh, blend, which is a powerful immune boosting blend as well as cellular support blend. So go ahead. Anybody want to share anything about lemongrass? I'll share the chat. Um, so Kanan said, great for anything tummy, also great for inflammation and you partner with deep blue. So I love making my own aches away roller and deep blue and lemongrass are both in that. And Janice said, perfect for after those huge meals for your holiday feast. Jai gave a DIY recipe. So it's lemongrass, lemon, apple cider vinegar, and that creates a natural nail polish remover. I did not know that. I got to try that. Um, Janice said, ooh, that sounds good with a deep blue canine polish remover. Great idea, Jai. And then Danny said, lemongrass used in Yoshibori, Yoshibori towel. That was the first time I ever heard of lemongrass. We went to a hotel and the lady came out to the pool with like these cool towels and she's like, oh, it has essential oils on it. I was like, okay, whatever. And then I grabbed it and she's like, it's lemongrass and it smelled so good. It's really one of my favorite oils to diffuse. I mean, it's strong, but it's so, I, I love the smell of lemongrass. Right out of the bottle, it's a little bit too strong for me, but diffused or put into rollers and so forth. I really, really love it. So, all right, let's keep going. Thanks, you guys. So next up, another another one of my uh, very distinct smelling oil, patchouli. So if you haven't experienced the light herbaceous scent of patchouli. I don't know about light. I feel like light might not be the word I did use to describe patchouli. You're in for a treat. But if Mia's on this call, Mia's favorite oil is patchouli. She absolutely loves it. And this is an oil that's used very commonly in the perfume industry. It's often added to commercial air fresheners and the laundry detergents because of its rich sweet musky fragrance. Uh, what we need to remember is probably most of those that are added are synthetic fragrance, but um, our patchouli is the real deal. So it has a unique aroma, but it's very useful for personal hygiene and also for balancing emotions. Patchouli is extremely useful for improving the skin again. Not only will it promote a smooth glowing complexion, but you can also help you reduce the appearance of skin imperfections like blemishes and wrinkles. Um, you can add a few drops to your daily moisturizer. It has exceptional benefits for the skin and also for balancing and grounding the emotions. If you are having a particularly emotional or frazzled day, combine patchouli with peppermint and apply to the neck, temples, and forehead. You can also calm the emotions by combining patchouli with vetiver oil and applying it to the bottoms of the feet. Patchouli is actually found in quite a few of our blends. Again, it's found in the Amavi blend, which I find very interesting because that's our men's blend, our anchor blend, our console blend our into into and focus blend and our whisper our women a blend for women whisper on another note just uh debuted i believe in a touch form as well either that or maybe it's december 1st so anybody want to share with us their favorite way to use a patchouli do i got anything in the comments 
Mia said it's really good for itchy skin. And then Kanan and Danny were talking about how it's the most hippie oil ever. Hashtag put ya. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. We have a joke that before we all started getting into oils, like that that scent is so um, distinct. And we have a town um, on Maui uh, that many people smell like very strong smells like patchouli and others, um, paia. So, but now we are all hippies. So there you go. <laughs> all right, let's keep on keeping on vetiver. This is one of my mom's absolute favorite oils. Um, it can be described as scent as smoky, woody, sweet, rich, caramel um, smelling. Um, it really just makes it a very distinct fragrance, but it's really, really powerful for calming and relaxing. So um, you want to calm your emotions, consider using it in uh, a massage. In addition to emotional benefits, you can use it to promote relaxation. It's really found in a lot of blends for really hyperactive children, hyperactive minds, um, deep sleep blends, you're always going to find vetiver as one of the oils. Um, uh, applying it to the bottom of your feet at bedtime, or a lot of people say right, right here on the crown of your head. And it can also help to aid in a healthy uh, immune sub sub system. So no matter the time of year, you can use vetiver oil when you feel like you could use some extra immune support. And to yield the immune supporting benefits, you can try adding one or two drops of it to tea or other hot drinks. Vetiver is found in quite a few of our um, blends as well. In tune, our focus blend, peace, serenity, thinker, our kids thinker blend. So that's really interesting, right? That it's helping us to sort of calm and ground while also allowing us to have clarity and thinking. And again, the whisper, um, like we just talked about with the, the patchouli. Anybody else have anything they want to share about um, vetiver? I'll share a tip with it. So because it is so thick, if you just try to turn it upside down, you're going to wait there for like a good 20 minutes for one drop to come out. So if you um, don't have a dropper top yet, and if you plan on getting it, buy a dropper top. So I don't have any by me. I just replace this, you're going to take this off, you're going to take off the orifice, and then you just put in a dropper top. That way you can just use your essential oil or your vetiver a lot quicker than having to wait 20 minutes for one drop. That's an awesome tip, Fraser. I do have um, dropper tops on my vetiver. And what else do I have it on? What else is our really sticky oil? Hmm. I have two oils that have dropper tops on. Oh, it's going to bother me. All right. Myrrh. Myrrh. Thank you. Perfect. Better very myrrh. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is another oil that's not very well known. So petty grain is taken from the bitter orange tree, but it's it's fresh floral scent makes it a popular ingredient, again, for perfumes, lotions, colognes, and more. Um, it holds a lot of benefits for the body that are supporting by emerging scientific evidence. One thing that we learned at convention a few years back when they debuted Pettigreen is that it's basically a man's version of lavender. So it has a lot of the chemical composition of lavender. It does many of the same things that lavender does, but it just has more of a... Um, I guess a manly scent. They say flat, fresh and floral, but I don't, I don't know that I feel like it smells really florally. To promote a healthy cardiovascular system um, and digestive system, you can take this again in a glass of water um, or juice. It can also be taken internally to lessen feelings of tension and calm the nervous system. And um, it can also possibly help with a night's sleep, just like lavender would. So placing a few drops on your pillow or bedding, you can add other soothing oils like bergamot, uh, to help create an atmosphere that is conducive to sleep. 
Um, not only is it a useful oil, but each time you buy a bottle, you are contributing to jobs, fair pay, and livelihood in, of growers in Paraguay. So we source our petty grain from Paraguay. As part of the doTERRA co-impact sourcing initiative, doTERRA has partnered with petty grain farmers in Paraguay to produce high quality petty grain oil. And along with providing diversified income for these small scale farmers, the co-impact sourcing initiative in Paraguay allows for responsible growing and harvesting, which helps to protect the Atlantic rainforest in Eastern Paraguay. So I love that. I love that we have a little bit of connection to how um, purchasing this oil also makes such a huge difference around the world. Anything in the chat, Fraser? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Spikenard is next. Uh, the calming and uplifting nature of spikenard makes it useful for a variety of activities. So it's woody, spicy aroma that can promote calmness and relaxation. One of the major benefits of spikenard is its purifying properties for the skin. So it can hold, uh, if you wanna promote clean, healthy skin, adding to your facial cleanser um, is what's really recommended. Uh, when you want a smooth, soft complexion, you could also add a drop to your hydrating cream. Uh, hydrating cream and yarrow palm is my absolute favorite. Um, so this is why it's frequently used. Oh, because of its calming properties, um, relaxation, it's fre frequently used in aromatherapy and meditation. And um, let's see. It's really great to be used with oils like lavender or vetiver. This is sourced from Nepal. Spikenard is part of the doTERRA co-impact sourcing initiative, which ensures that farmers are fairly compensated and receive additional support through co community development projects. From harvesting to distilling and through every step of the spikenard oil production process, doTERRA makes sure that the oil is responsibly and carefully sourced. By purchasing spikenard, you'll be supporting small scale farmers in Nepal who work hard to produce a high quality product. All right, anything in the comments about spikenard? I, I would say that pettigrain and spikenard are probably two of our very uncommon oils. We don't talk about them or hear about them too much, but they are very, very um, amazing. Now this next one I feel like is definitely part of our top 10-ish, but um, copaiba, the spicy woody aroma of this new, um, the copaiba, essential oil comes from the resin of the copaiba tree. These trees can go up to grow up to be 100 feet tall and they're found in the tropical rainforests of um, South America, specifically in the Amazon. For hundreds of years, natives of Brazil have used copaiba for traditional health practices. It's also commonly found in cosmetic products products like lotions and soaps. So similar to black pepper essential oil can be useful for soothing anxious feelings. Um, and you can blend copaiba with oils like cedarwood, Roman chamomile, sandalwood, frankincense. It also, again, helps to promote um, clear skin and reduces the appearance of blemishes. A lot of people use uh, copaiba on their skin. Um, again, it's frequently used in a lot of skincare products, lotions, creams, perfumes, and more. But let's talk about the fact that it is incredibly supportive to the cardiovascular system and the immune system and the nervous system. Okay. So if you are looking for support um, in any of those areas, copaiba is a really great option. My son actually takes a copaiba soft gel every single day. Uh, our primary goal for him is support with his central nervous system, but he's a pretty darn healthy kid as well. And I know that he takes LLV and copaiba and that makes a big difference. So it's also a powerful antioxidant and can provide antioxidant support. And it's found in our kids rescuer blend as well. So um, I know there's so much love for copaiba. I can't actually believe how long this presentation is, but does anybody have anything they want to share about copaiba in the comments or unmute themselves? Hanan said, oh, copaiba, one of my faves. We use it for teething. I like adding it to my tea, cardiovascular health, and very calming. And then Danny said, I really like Dr. Hill's scientific comparison of copaiba versus CBD. Yes, that's so great. Um, you can find that information 
in our customer group if you're wanting to learn about how really copaiba is a much better alternative to CBD oil as well. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Neroli Touch. It won't take you long to fall in love with the sweet aroma of Neroli. I love the Mother's Day collection. Um, I think this is still available. And I have this right by my desk. And one of the oils was Neroli. It's both citrus and floral. Um, and it can help po uh, promote positivity and relaxation. So taken from the bitter orange tree, the same tree where you can find orange oil in the peel of the orange and petty grain oil in the leaves and the twigs. So that bitter orange tree is an example of we use different parts of the tree and the plant to extract different essential oils, right? Um, so I love the smell of neroli. Um, it's really great to apply to your uh, pulse point. So I just put it on my wrist and I could rub it on my neck and on my temples to uplift your mood. Um, can also be used to encourage relaxation. If you're anxious or frazzled, applying neroli to your palms and then taking deep inhales can really help you feel grounded and relaxed and more at peace. Um, it comes in a base of fractionated coconut oil. So this is a diluted um, four mil rollers. If you don't have a set of these, I love these. They're so easy to carry around. They're so sweet. Um, and um, so, and then we also have the larger touch roller of it. Um, so you can easily roll the oil over your skin with the roller bottle. Um, we do not have a a regular bottle of neroli. Neroli only comes in the touch form. All right, anything in the comments about neroli? Cause I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. All right. Okay, we're winding down here. Just a few more. Blue tansy, you guys. In the past, blue tansy was simply used as one of the most powerful ingredients in none other. Which oil do you think blue tansy is in? Deep blue. But now this oil is available for individual purchase and use. So blue tansy can be soothing for the skin and useful re for reducing the appearance of blemishes. To take advantage of the skin's soothing benefits of it, place it in your daily moisturizer. Yes, your skin will turn a little bit blue, but it will go away. Um, this So better to use it maybe at night. It's really sweet aroma. I actually like to diffuse blue tansy and deep blue once in a great while, believe it or not. I really love the way it smells. It's really uplifting for the mood. You could try blending it with oils like clary sage, geranium, lavender, spearmint, lang lang, if you got that in your BOGO box um, or as a BOGO. And when you apply it topically, it really can provide a soothing sensation, which is why it's used in our deep blue blend. Um, when you've had a long day of physical activity, combine this with fractionated coconut oil to enhance your massage experience even further. Blend blue tansy with essential oils like lavender, wintergreen, or cypress. So blue tansy is found not only in our deep blue soothing blend, but in one of my absolute favorite emotional blends, balance our grounding blend. Whew. All right, you guys, we are going to just wrap it up real quick here. I just wanted to remind you guys about these three amazing kits that we have available for you. The immunity support system, the mind and mood support system, and the relief support system. So, um, oh, part of this slideshow didn't load. So there you go. I was going to go through each one, but forget it. I don't know why it didn't load. Shaka doodoos. Okay. Um, save the dates for these important dates. Um, no calls from this Wednesday, the 25th until Sunday, the 28th. We're going to go ahead and take some time off to celebrate Thanksgiving uh, weekend with our loved ones. Fraser, you might want to take a screenshot of this because we made a few little adjustments I never even told you about. Fun, good for you, right? You're stoked. Um, the next three Sundays, you guys, we are going to offer some holiday DIY. So somebody's going to come on here and demo a quick 5, 10, at the max 15 minute DIY, can't imagine a DIY taking more than 15 minutes, but a fun DIY, holiday DIY for you. And then we are going to dive deeper into the these wellness programs. Now, listen, we're going to give away a wellness kit at every single one of these. So if we're talking about the immunity 
program, we're going to give away an immune kit. If we're talking about the mind and mood wellness program, we're going to give away one. And what does that look like? It looks like you putting it on your LRP and we will reimburse you for that kit. So really excited. This was an idea that Kate and I had. Actually, just Kate had it and she told me about it. And I said, it's awesome. So I don't want to take credit. The holiday DIY um, ideas are definitely Fraser's uh, mastermind baby because she loves that kind of stuff. Although everyone's going to help with that. So please, please, please. So we actually are going to have a class on the 19th. And please share this with your people because we're going to be giving away the first kit in the, these wellness systems. So I think it's super awesome. Wednesday, the 9th of December, we will have our BOGO after party, which is always fun. And we'll dive deeper into each of the oils that you got in the BOGO box or throughout uh, BOGO week. And then last but not least, we're going to have an Essential Island Living holiday party online that Kanani, Kate, and the rest of the gals are going to host um, for you guys. So um, I'm going to see if there are any questions, but if not, thank you guys so much for joining us for this class today. I really enjoyed teaching it. I learned so much and um, I really hope that if you have any of these oils in your collection, uh, you feel a little bit more confident about using them or at least sharing the benefits of them with others. So grateful for you guys always. Have a great evening. Bye.